What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a powerhouse of a team to show up for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves an Assault Vest Glacier team alongside with Life Orb Spectre. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, the support that's been going out across the channel has been insane. I cannot thank you guys enough. But yeah, I saw this team as around the code. I was like, I gotta use it. It has double horse, which means double the fun, double the strength, and double the power. The horses are OP, and you guys already know that. I think they're the best Pokemon in this game. So I think with both of them on the team, we can throw a lot of opponents off and hopefully get ourselves some nice wins in today's video. But getting started here in that top left corner, we have Porygon 2 right here with download and that Evo Light, obviously, as its item. And it's our Trick Room on. We have Eerie Impulse to drop special attack, Trick Room to help out with that Glacier, try attack, and recover to stall out and get some more HP. Right next to him is going to be Regilecki, another great Pokemon for a lead. It's going to be Transistor Ability with that Focus Ash so we don't get one tap. And we can actually set up screens with this Pokemon. We got Reflect, Light Screen, and then we got E-Web to slow down and Volt Switch to do damage and pivot out. Middle left is going to be a great all-around Pokemon that is going to be the Fighting and Dark Urshifu with Unseen Fist and that Choice Band to actually choice it into one move to make it do massive amount of damage. We got Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, all three stab moves, and then we got U-Turn to pivot out, say if we don't like our uh, where we're sitting in the battle. Right next to him is going to be our top Pokemon for the Trick Room, and that's going to be Glacier over here. Assault Fest, we can soak up some shots. Chilling Nade to get that attack boost when we pick up KO. And then we got that move set of Icicle Spear for Stab, High Horsepower, Heavy Slam, and Close Combat all for coverage. Bottom left corner is going to be Incineroar, a great little support mod for this team. Intimidate over here, and then we have that Citrus Berry so we get more HP. When we drop below half HP, we got Fake Out for the Flinch, Flare Blitz for Stab, Parting Shot to pivot out and get that attack drop, and Snarl for that special attack drop. Final Pokemon is going to be our Life Orb Mon, who's going to uh, thrive without the Trick Room, so you can actually go two different ways with the team. You can go Trick Room, get Glacier in there, or you can go with uh, like Regilecki or Incineroar and bring out Spectre with that Life Orb and go into the battle with that. Grim Nay, so we get that attack boost once we pick up a KO. Life Orb for that bigger damage. Shadow Ball for Sab. Mud Shot, Hyper Beam both for coverage, and Substitute in order to maybe set up our Spectre and dominate the battle. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this double horse team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Galarian Moltres team alongside with Regilecki, Tailwind with the Whimscott, Memo Swine, Dracofish, and Chandelure. Ooh, I haven't seen Chandelure in forever. I used to actually use that Pokemon a good bit back in like the first year Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, considering it was a solid Imprison or Trick Room Pokemon. But who should I go into? How should I lead this one? I kind of want to go into... Spectre and Regilecki. I'm trying to think because he can go into Imprisoned Trick Room here. And say I leave Glacier and Porygon. Then it's like, eh. Then it's like any any Imprisoned Trick Room and he rolls out from there. Then he can kind of just roll out. So I'm going to go Spectre and uh, Regilecki turn one. So I can start slowing down if they want to go for a Tailwind. Then I'm going to bring Incineroar and Urshfu in the back end. I think that is going to be the play for Jeans. I really do like it because I don't see him going for a Trick Room. I, I really see that Chandelure kind of just there to set up and imprison for the trick room that's really what i'm seeing but guys let me know for question of the day and that is which pokemon dlc did you guys like more was it the crown tundra or the isle of armor considering i think they were both really good i think they both had their ups uh and downs for each other like i, I really don't i wouldn't say downs but they both had their goods it really did i really do like the uh the pokemon pool from the crown tundra but i don't know isle of armor is really cool you're on the beach you get you got the sharpedos really cool all around but i think the pokemon pool like the cooler pokemon came out in the crown tundra but at the same time isle of armor did have some banger pokemon and uh and aesthetically wise going through the island it was awesome but he's gonna go regilect here i am going to end up dynamax in here and i am going to get this a uh, special attack boost and try to take you out and then the, i think i'm just going to set up a reflect here i am focus ash do i still try to set up this reflect hmm this jeans do here reflect yeah we're gonna reflect this one get a reflect setup maybe try to set up a light screen but we are dynamax in our spectre right here getting off this max quick trying to take out this uh bench like no problem without a little coverage and we'll get a nice little special defense boost. so we're hoping he's not sashed and if he is i'll just e-web next turn but i'm trying to see what this pokemon could do he could go for that e-web into the uh e-web into the the what's it called the ground move but we're gonna be able to set up a reflect first turn which is awesome hopefully i can get off a light screen i might not be able to depending on the, if this thing's a sash or not but he's gonna end up dropping e-web and i think he's just gonna eq or not eq maybe just go for a uh, nice little ground move 
and get the speed drops on us. That's silly fine. See what happens here. It goes high horsepower and down goes my bench So we did get off a of reflect, which is uh, pretty decent. And I, again, I hope this thing is, isn't sash. If it's not a sash, we could be sitting decent here. I think it shows us orbed, and we're going to end up getting off a max quake, which is dandy. Getting that special defense boost, and show me no sash. No sash. Beautiful. Get that thing out of my face. So, we know the Mammoth Swine's life orb. We know the sash is still on the field. And there's a nice little special defense boost. Okay, I'm with it. Right, there's my Grim Nick. So, we're getting boosted here, too. I think I bring out Instant War. So I can fake out and get off another big shot with this Grim Nate boost. And we have Urshifu in that back end, which I really, really like. we will bring him in now, but I think we need him in the back end. So I'm just going to bring in Incineroar. Get that Intimidate on that Mammoth Swine. Oh, it's oblivious. So hopefully he throws out another physical attacker. But he is going to be oblivious, and he's going to send out who? He's going to send out Wimscott. Okay, so Wimscott is out and about. Um, Does he Dynamax Mammo? That's a real question. Do we think he's going to Dynamax Mammoth Swine? There is a possibility for that. And in that case, I'm going to do this. And I think I'm just going to fake out. I think I'm just going to fake out you. We do have a Reflect and a, uh, and a what's it called? We have a Reflect and a, uh, I don't know. I was going to say and an Intimidate, but no. He's a Blizzard. But we do have that Reflect, which is going to help us out with that Mammoth Swine. So I, I don't think I'm going to see him Dynamaxing. I'm going to see him trying to Tailwind, but we are going to be able to fake out. And I think Spectre still might be able to outspeed that Mammoth Swine as it is a... Uh, Minus one on the speed board. But if I get off this Max Phantasm, that could be huge onto this uh, Pokemon right here. Especially with this fake out. And he is going to end off Dynamax. Okay. All right. So this could be good, could be bad. Let's see Let's see how it's going to roll out. We definitely want that fake out. We definitely want that fake out because I think he's trying to tailwind. Just try to get speed advantage on me. And I think he might go for a quick. And there's a possibility. And it's a little possibility. We do have Urge Moon in the back, which is really, really nice. I do dig him. With that choice ban. Here's my fake out. We're going to say, hey, yo, you're not doing anything right now. Fake him out. Get that flinch rolling. And Spectre, I do outspeed. Spectre does not outspeed. And the Quake is going to come through. And I believe he's just going to take out Incineroar, no problem. Incineroar eat somehow. Oh, yo, I love you, Incineroar. You're my best friend ever. You are my best friend ever. Just get that special defense boost, which is a little scary. And let's see how much damage we could possibly do here. Citrus Berry is popping. So I don't think Wimscott can take me out in one shot. I don't know. That's going to be close. That's kind of close. He goes here. He has special defense boost, but we are plus one. Let's see how much damage we can possibly do. Not bad. Not bad there. Not even going to lie. Not bad damage. I could guard the Spectre and block off a shot here. Hmm. Defense is dropping. I feel like we have to go for maybe like a Flare Blitz or something. Maybe. Uh, hmm, what does Sheens want to do here? What do I want to do? This is going to be going. I could guard and read. Guard could be the play. But again, I don't see him taking me out. So I think I had to do that. I think I might double up into this thing. I think it's going to be my play. I think we're going to double up into the Mammoth Swine. I don't see him guarding. Yeah, he does not guard. He's going to set up a Tailwind. Okay, so we did double up for a good reason here. So we can get rid of the Mammoth Swine. Let's see what he does. He goes for a Quake. You going in for now. Going in for Incineroar again. No, go for Spectre. Spectre, that's an easy E for me. And we might be able to pick up the double kill here, which could be big. But the special defense is huge. So I'm hoping Spectre... Does Spectre outspeed? That's a real question. We need Spectre at outspeed. Spectre does outspeed. That is wonderful. We're going to be able to take out Mammoth Swine here. Get a defense drop. Flare Blitz going to slide over. Take out the Whimscott, no problem. And we're sitting in such a good position right now. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. He doesn't have a Dynamax either. So I, that, that leads me to think that he doesn't have that good of a Pokemon in the back end. Grim Knight is boosting. And here goes my nice, lovely little player blitz coming in here. That's probably going to take me out, I think. With the recoil damage, let's see. I mean, he's minus two on defense. He should be gone, no problem. Yeah. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game. All right. So this one is really close. Oh, we do survive. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. That is huge. Double horsepower out here. The horses are coming to play today. And his final Pokemon is going to be Draco Fish. Okay. I can lie, that's a little scary, but he doesn't have, I don't think he has a two-hitting move. And I could parting shot you. Shadow Ball. Definitely want to go for a Shadow Ball, and I actually am going to parting shot. See if I can pivot real quick. This is coming out of here, going after Spectre. And that's totally fine, because one, I don't see my Incineroar really doing a lot of damage. 
So this parting shot is probably our best play because I can get minus one attack drop, come back out with Intimidate, get another minus one attack drop, lean at minus two, and now I, I think I can have my boy uh, come out here and uh, finish this battle off. But say, say I went to like a Flare Blitzer, what, what am I really going to do? Recoil damage and take me out? The minus two attack drop is such a better play. Way better play for me. So now we get out my boy Urshifu. We have that choice band chilling here. And we get out instant more. Now, now the question is, do I just go straight for a Wicked Blow? Or do I go for Sucker Punches? Because I have to choice into something. I have to choice into something. Hmm. Oh, I can fake out again. Ooh, that's lovely. That is lovely. I totally forgot we can fake out again. So I am definitely going to go for that Wicked Blow and get after his Pokemon. Fake out coming out here. I totally forgot I fake out again. So that's huge. There's that. We're going to choice ban into this Wicked Blow. Try to do as much damage as we can and maybe pick up this KO for the win. Show it to me, baby. Give it to me. Let's go. Run it. Run it up. We eating out here. We eating out here. 1-0 to get this video started. Let's get it, guys. Second battle coming at you guys. Going up against a pretty meta team right here with the Incineroar and Rillaboom combo. Then he also has Regilecki, Urshifu, Tapu, Finny, and Lander. So he has Intimidate. Double Intimidates. Double Intimidates make me want to go in the Spectre. Like, I want to off Glacier, but hopefully we get him in next battle. But if you have Double Intimidates, I have to go Spectre, right? Seems like a, a smart call for me. And I think I want to go Regilecki here as well. Then I can set up Reflex, or I can slow down and go from there. He has two Fake Outs, two Intimidates. Oh, uh, he has that Regilecki, which is kind of scary there as well. But I think we're going to go there, bring Urshfu and Incineroar as our back-end Pokemon. So same team as first time. Which I'm really liking. I think that's way better than the Trick Room. Because say he goes into Double Intimidate, it's over with for us. This year, I can't really do much there. And then he can fake out my Porygon and roll from there. So, not a fan of it. Not a fan of it at all. I'm trying to think what else could we do. Now, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking where we're sitting right here with these guys. Hopefully, in the next battle, we can get that Glacier out there with the Trick Room and show off that combo. Because there's really two ways to go with this team. It's go with the Trick Room, get the Glacier combo rolling, or go without Trick Room, get Spe Spectre Dynamax rolling. So, really, that's your two options with this team. And they're both very, very strong. And they work in most instances in this game. So, let's see. He's probably going to bring out the Urshfu. I can totally see that happening. Let's see. Now, he goes in with these two. So, perfect. I did not go into that... Uh, that what's it called? I did not go into that uh, what's it called combo. The the trick room. The trick room. He's just gonna fake me out. He's just gonna roll from there. Tech drop does nothing. We're chilling just fine. I can see a fake out coming from him, and I am going to Dynamax and try to take out you. Just get rid of you. And I think do I E-Web? Just in case he sashed, I could E-Web, but I think maybe a light screen might be a little bit better. It's light screen or reflect. Hmm, what is he gonna do? I said we e web this turn. I ain't gonna lie, just in case he sash. What do I see is gonna happen here? Hmm. A parting shot. I'm gonna e web. I'm gonna web down. Get the speed drop rocking out here. But I really wanna get rid of this Regilecki. Even though Incineroar is posing a threat too, because I think he's going to parting shot and pivot out. That would be the smart play. It's gonna be a good battle. It's gonna be a good battle. We're in here for the long haul, but horses are getting after. If he doesn't take out Regilecki and does not have Sash, I mean, we are e webbing, which should go before that. But I'm just hoping he doesn't fake me out. Let's see what happens. Yep, there's the fake out. Okay. So I'm hoping his Regilecki is not Sash. Let's just see what he does. I would love to get this uh, boost here. There goes that damage. If he's not Sash, we get off a, a light screen or a black damage, which could be decent for us. Come on, no sash, no sash. Fingers crossed. Back to back, no sash, Regilecki's. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Let's go. Let's go. I thought he was sash for a second. I like stutter. I was like, wait a minute. He's not sash? Awesome. So he's not sash. We get that special defense boost. We get that chilling A boost. Uh, let's start rocking out from here. Uh, the question is, do I go for an E web and slow down them now? Because now that we're slowed down, we kind of kind of need that. He's going to bring out a Pokemon that he's going to Dynamax. We know that for a fact. We know that for a fact. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boom. Boo -doo -boom -boom -boom. And it is going to be. Ooh, he's gonna sucker punch me. Oh, for that sucker punch. I am going to guard. Actually, it might Dynamax him. Making me not want to guard. Quick is gonna be your best bet to take out you. 
Wait, e web? Do I reflect? What does Jeans do here? Crazy. Um, it's crazy. I think I'm gonna reflect here. Oh, dude, that Urshu's scary. He's really scaring me. There's a suck bunch. Should have guarded. We do eat. Okay, so that's lovely. Reflect's gonna come out here. Do we outspeed that instant aura? That's the real question. I should have e web. We do outspeed that instant aura. Hopefully, we can take it out right here. Tell it to go home. I don't think this thing's sash. And we're plus one. Get him out of here. All right, there's two KOs. That's two big KOs for us. We got that reflect out and about for that thing. And I think Urshfu might just go for another sucker punch. So in that case, I'm going to guard. And with that guard, I'm going to be able to take off Sash and probably E-Web and slow down both his uh, Pokemon or his last two Pokemon, which is nice. Because we still have two Pokemon in the back, which is our Urshfu and our Incineroar. Incineroar is going to come up big with that Intimidate for us. And... This is Dynamax Mom. Right here, this Dynamax Mom. And I'm guessing it's Orb, right? On this team, I'm thinking it's Orb. So we are definitely going to uh, slow down. We have a special defense boost. I would rather get a defense drop, but I have to guard here because we know that Sucker Punch is coming through. They'll reflect already up, but I think I'd rather slow down, right? I think I'd rather get the slow down here. I think I would 100% rather get the slow down here uh, with the E-Web. But this one's going to come down to a really close battle. Really, really close battle. So, my Regilecki should still outspeed, which is nice. I don't know about Spectre. But Spectre is guard, so that's nice. I don't see him reading the guard. I think he's still going for that Sucker Punch into me. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Let's see what you do. Sucker Punch coming through. Oh, we're seeing a double guard. Okay. Like punch coming through. That's wonderful. We don't take that all day, so we're wasting our turns here. Wasting out this Dynamax. We are going to slow down that Urshfu, which I really, really like. Maybe I can set up a light screen here. Oh, that's some nice damage. Uh, what do I do from here? What do I do from here? Just go for Shadow Ball? I could take out the Urshfu here. Instead of setting up a light screen... Maybe take out the Urshfu with a Volt Switch. Right? It can't take him out. I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive Volt Switch can take you out. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to shoot for that Volt Switch. Try to take you out. And see what we can do from there. Let's see. Let's see. What is what is going on here? Sucker Punch coming out here again. There's Sucker Punch again. Alright, so Spectre Air finally goes down. Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you guys have set up a light screen there? Should I have set up a light screen there? Or do you think this is the play? If it KOs. Which I think it should. Bolt Switch should be able to pick up KO here. No problem. Yeah, so we get rid of that. And we pivot out. So I'm going to pivot into Incineroar. I wonder. He has to be going after my Regilecki, right? Gotta be 100%. Can't pivot back into you. It's all not very effective. Dang it, man. Um. Dang, dude. This is really tough. We're gonna need a Regilecki, so I'm, I mean, we might as well go into Incineroar. And then hope he's going for a Starfall. Is he going for a Geyser? To go for going for guys all right so i'm dead i am dead here unless you can eat you eat okay that's lovely that's a lovely little eat but maybe i can get off a parting shot here um do i get out regilecki i think i think we save regilecki here we're gonna need regilecki for when it's uh when it's not dynamax and has less hp and we're gonna go urshfu get after it. try to do as much damage as i possibly can Urshu's really not going to do too, too much here. Oh, what do I really go for? Close combat might be our best bet, but it's just going to drop our stats. In, in that case, it does have Starfall. I think I might try to go for some parting shots. Hmm. Jeans, jeans, jeans. What are you going to do here? I think close combat might be our best. Actually, no. We're going to go for this. I really don't want to drop my stats. Uh, we are going to try to go for this parting shot. Or I can just snarl. 
Snarl might be a little bit better. Instead of swapping out into a Regilecki. Let's go for the Snarl, see what we can do. Battle was canceled. Yo, we take those all day long. Battle was canceled. And I honestly think he, maybe he could have picked up the win. But we take those 2 and 0. We can hop to a third and final battle. Look for that perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against a Cramorant team. All right, yo, I'm with it. But that last battle, I seriously think our opponent had a shot of winning that match. But I'm not going to say anything. He wants to cancel that battle, give us a win. We take those. That one would have came down to the wire. But I seriously still think he did have a shot. It would have been real close. But he's got that uh, Cramorant team alongside with Storm Dream Gastron. He has the Grim Snarl, the Togekiss, which I'm guessing is weakness policy, and it's a heavy attacker for the team, or a heavy special attacker. Then he has Ferrothorn and Intimidate Landris. I really want to show off the Glacier combo, so we're going to try to get off Trick Room. We have Porygon. Um, he does have Taunt rolling with that, uh, that Grim Snarl, so I'm going to go into Incineroar, so maybe I can fake out and roll from there. Bring Glacier in the back, and then in the final spot, Urshfu. Yeah, let's get Urshfu popping out here. Try to get this win. Maybe we can go 3-0, dude. The horses are dominating today. Well, at least Spectre is so far. Everybody knows how strong Glacier is, so hopefully we can get that 3-0 record. This is my first time actually using double horses. I used both horses. Well, for Series 9, it's actually my first time using uh, each horse, but we already know what they do. We used them before, but I used Spectre separately and Glacier separately. Now we're putting them together, making a mega stack team. We're making the Brooklyn Nets right now, a super team. <laughs> you guys watch basketball. You guys get that one. Well, he goes Cramorant and Storm Drain Gastro. So, I think he's trying to set up a combo here with the Gastro. Um, I think I fake out onto Cramo slot. Let's see. He might Dynamax with that, with that uh, Gastro right there. Let's see what he's going to do. The download is happening. We do have Assault Vest, which is lovely. Which is just dandy. I could Snarl. Two special attackers, right? Let's Snarl. I think that might be a play. No, I'll fake out this turn. Actually, these guys are slow. I'm gonna snarl. Hmm. I'm gonna snarl here. I think we still get off Trick Room. I think we're thriving here. I really do. I I I feel like there's no need for a fake out here. I say they let. I say I let my them do damage to my Porygon. And then maybe Porygon goes down next turn. After we have the Trick Room up, he's gonna end up dying next turn. And Snarl's going to come out before this. So I think he's going to Surf. Maybe proc a Storm Drain. Get a special attack boost. I think that's his little combo here. Right? And try to get after my Porygon. But still, we're going to put a minus one on him. Which I think Porygon can eat up. We have that Evo Light. He's a very tanky Pokemon. Yeah, there's the Surf. The Surf is coming out here. But the, the crazy part is he gets a Storm Drain boost. But he still hits me. Which is, which is a little whack. Let's see. Yeah, my Porygon eats up all day. And we, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I was like, what is going on? I thought it was a Zoroak. I seriously thought it was a Zoroak. I was like, this thing's changing form, but I've totally forgot. When that thing uses Surf, it gets its fish. It gets its little fish. And then when you hit it, it comes back and shoots its fish. So I think it might shoot its fish. Yeah, that's pretty dope. That's so dope. I love Cramorant. Such a cool Pokemon. I think I got to show up a note, another Cramorant team uh, soon. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like that. If you do have a Cramorant team, DM me over on my Instagram. I try to get back to all the DMs. But he's going to drop a max quake, dude. I don't mind if, if I go down. If my Incineroar goes down. Like, dude, that's that's a solid first turn. We canceled out a Storm Dream. We're getting off a Trick Room. We're getting out Big Boy Glacier with an Assault Vest. And we're rocking out. And that's Special Defense boost. Physical. We are physical. Get it. Let's get it. Oh, and I can Eerie Impulse. Only onto the Cram Room, though. Only onto Cram Room. Because it's an electric move. And I think it's ground. So, Glace, get out here. Get him out here. Let's run Let's run it. I'm not really worried about that, that Storm Dream. He's gonna go for a Quake. I kinda, kinda see that coming. I am, like, I have that vest. I invested up. Um. I'm gonna try to deal damage on the U. Actually, let's, uh, let's make sure his Cramorant goes down. We'll get a boost from it. I'm gonna try attack over onto Cramorant. And I'm gonna Dynamax, and I am gonna set the weather. Set the weather, take out Cramorant, get a chilling nade boost. Start going from there. Because I, I see him coming in with a quake. And then I might just guard next turn. Just to waste that out. Again, we're assault vested. And he's he's even on the attack here. He's not he's not boosted or anything. I don't see him doing really much damage to us. Considering Glacier is already bulky enough. Give it that assault vest. We're getting after it. But yeah, look how goofy Cramorant looks. He looks like he looks like an idiot, man. <laughs> 
It's like, hi, I'm Cramorant. But this wings out like this. <laughs> hi, I'm Cramorant. <laughs> but yo, I love how he gets the fish, dude. The fish, is, it, it makes him. It makes me want to use him. He surfs up, he got a fish in his mouth. Someone hits him, he shoots that fish out. Like, yo, he's got no problem. He got no problem getting after it. We got him at Glacier over here for 414 HP. Not too shabby. Here. Oh, we, we outspeed here. So, are we going to pick up the KO? Hopefully, we can just pick up the KO straight up and we can get our boost. Beautiful. That's really what I wanted. I thought Porygon would, would be slower. But he's not. But he's not. We get our Chilling Nate boost. Love. Dude, these, this ability, these abilities on the horses are broken, man. Here. Get stronger and stronger every time. <laughs> Hailstorm comes out here. And you're going after Porygon with that? That's lovely. It's not going to KO me. Silly Goose. Yo, we got this. We got this perfect record rolling. We got this one in the bag, I'm thinking. Give me something. Give me, like, Paralyze something. Love it's chipping him up. Yo, we got this one in the bag, it's looking like. I'm not even worried about that gash. I don't even have to guard anymore. I'm going to take out his next Pokemon he throws out. Who is this? Is this Incineroar? No, it's Pharaoh. It is lovely little Pharaoh thorn. Hello, Pharaoh. How you doing today? Uh, I think I'll just try attack again. I was going to recover, but we'll do that. And then... Good knuckle buckle. Good knuckle buckle. I could go for my stab move. I'm gonna knuckle buckle. But I think knuckle buckle might take him out. And we could get another attack boost. And then if it takes him out on top of that, we get two attack boosts. And then it's GG. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he's rolling out with. Iron defense. That buttery biscuit. What smart cookie. Alright, so he's trying to set up here. I give him props for that one. I give him props for that one. There goes my knuckle buckle. Gastron's uh, Dynamax turns are done after this. That's a huge defense boost right there. That's huge. Uh, we still have Urshfu in the back. Is it going to iron defense up again? Dude's crazy. Quake's coming through here. Could be easy eats. Oh, you're going after Porygon again. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm just going to recover next turn. <laughs> you can iron defense. I'm going to take out the, uh, the... What's it called? I'm going to take out that uh, Gastronaut. Getting real sick of it. The plus two on attack. And then if I take out Gastronaut, it's plus three. And I have my boy Urshifu in the back. And don't I still have Incineroar? I still have Incineroar, who would be four times super effective. This thing might just, uh, try to go for a stall game. The thing is, I do have Urshifu, and that is going to be big because I get automatic crits, which will ignore the defense. But is that move very not very effective? Oh, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Oh, God, you get him out of here. We're not worrying about him. I'm going to recover my Porygon. Play that slow game. And then, do I Hailstorm? Let's Hailstorm. Get rid of you. Gastron, out my game. Sick of you. Dynamax and early like that. Go ahead, go ahead, dude. Like, you can waste turns like that. You can waste turns. Like, I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm going to stack up on defense, and I'm going to win this game. I'm going to win this game. And I'm just going to bring out Earth Street like, nah, so get out my game. Get him out of here. <laughs> drop this Pokemon. Get my Chilling Day boost. I'm going to drop his last Pokemon on the left side. He's just not taking me out. Like, this ain't happening. I'm boosted through the roof. Cover coming through. He's like, now he's like, are you serious? Like, we play stall game all day. I have way more Pokemon than you. I'm boosted. You don't want none of this. Get the buffets on you. I could close combat, but no, nah, I'm going to take out that left Pokemon. Just make sure it's a 4v1 situation. These horses, man. I'm telling you guys, rent this team. You guys want to go high and ladder? It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. All you got to know is, do you think you should trick room? If you think you should trick room, go into this squad. If you don't think you should trick room, go into Spectre. It's, it's either or with this team. It's not like I have to pay, pinpoint Pokemon, pick them out left and right. Like It's pretty straightforward. It's, it's one or the other here. So I really do like this team. It's really strong. Like I get it. I always complain about the horses, but hey, they're working. They ain't broke. Don't fix it. You know, is that saying something like that? But uh, I'm just going to try attack here. I'm gonna go for maybe a paralyze or something on him. I know an icicle sphere should uh, be enough to just pick up the KO. We are plus two now because he did minus one me. Buttery biscuit, which is a problem. Gonna protect. Ooh, protect. And another iron defense. Now he's gonna buy. Ooh. I feel stupid. I feel real stupid. Give me a paralyze. Give me something. Oh, we get a burn! <laughs> we get a burn! Yeah, I love it. 
I feel real stupid right now, though. Now I'm sitting here, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, do I bring an Earth? I'm trying to wait out this Trick Room. I, uh, I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. I'm going to come out with that Intimidate. Intimidate? Oh, no, there's that. But I still want to... We're dead? Oh, we led him. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> At least Trick Room is over. So I do dig that. I do think that the Trick Room is gone. And I really do think that this, uh... This Wicked Blow should be able to pick up the KO. Right? Crits go through, will ignore defense. And we outspeed. Porygon should be able to stall out 1v1. But dude, I totally forgot we didn't have Incineroar. We lost him so far back, and I'm talking about we're up for, for Pokemon the two. Like, what you mean, Jeans? You're going crazy. You're going crazy. But this team is, is Isle of Armor slash Crown Chunder team. So this, this question today fit really well. Because we got both the Isle of, or both Crown Chunder Pokemon with the horses and the Isle of Armor Pokemon with the uh the earth spin. but this should KO, right? Yep, ignores defense. Yo, get him out of here. Get him out of my game. Iron Barb's coming through here. Uh, is he dropping an EQ? I doubt he's dropping an EQ considering he has Ferrothorn on the field and that was his bread and butter there. Lies can come out here. I'm totally fine with that. Um, I gotta try attack again. Uh, do we think that's gonna KO me? It's a chance. It has a chance. We are going to go for this try attack here. I could trick him. I think try attack might be the play. That might KO me. I don't, I don't like him one bit. Jeans don't like that one bit. Let's see what happens here. When the blow comes through. Eat this up. Eat it up. We might lose this one. I don't know, man. I don't like this. I don't like this. Maybe I should trick him there. Trick him could have been the play. But here comes try attack. Can we get a burn or something on him? He is orbed. Try attack coming out. Bang, bang, bang. How much damage are we doing? Oh, I love you. You're my best friend. Uh, do I recover this turn? I'm, I'm going to predict the fly. I mean, I see us eating up a fly. That's, that's our thing. I see us eating up a fly. So if he doesn't fly, we should be fine. He's going to go for an EQ. What's he going for? Here goes the EQ. Porygon! 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 What do you mean? No! Are you kidding me? He crits for the win! Yo! Oh my lord, he ruins our perfect record with a crit. Get out my face. I swear, this game just knows how to get under people's skin. Just as I'm about to get a perfect record for you guys, everything's looking dandy. We're rolling out strong Glacier. This guy gets a crit on an EQ to win the game. That's all he needed. Like, all we needed was just just normal we just need it normal we just needed him to just hit us with an eq he gets a crit and wins the match that is ridiculous you guys know we should have went uh, or three and oh there we had solid battles today dominated with the specter dominated with glacier and all around had ourselves a great video but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread the positive day and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody